told this to me. I Time. 4:43. I was surprised because a lot of people think of him as a very analytic, him as a very analytic person, as someone, who, someone who's you know a, a lot about numbers, and he and he is. He's actually very quantitative, but he once told me. That, and he is, he's actually very quantitative, but he once told me that the best way, way to gauge whether a certain type of, type of education or math especially is working in, a, working in a classroom. Sure, you could try to look at try to look at test scores and things like that. Like that. But the easiest and quickest way is to, go, is to go to the 10 students in a class, classroom who are having the most trouble with the, with the mathematics and ask them how they feel about the math, they feel about the mathematics. And if they hate the mathematics, well, that's kind of the, kind of the typical response. But if they still are, in, are engaged and they still haven't given up, up, and if they're, they're still fit, up, and if they're fit, well, then something great's going on. And I was surprised hearing that from him, from him, because a lot, of, you know, as I mentioned, as I mentioned people associate him as very quantitative, quantitative. As I mentioned people associate him as very, quant very quantitative and analytical. But in a lot of ways, a lot of ways, he's right. So when we create, create Khan Academy, we absolutely care about the numbers. How many about the numbers? How many people are using us? How how does that affect their learning? How does how does that affect outcomes on benchmark exam? exam? We care about all of those things, but at the end, at the end of the day, the best measure is how does the student feel about mathematics after going through Khan Academy? Time. Four forty five twenty four. So let's do a review. Let's see what needs to be fixed. So basically, two minutes, twenty four seconds to do a 1 minute and 12 second video on a first pass basis. When Bill Gates told this to me, I was I was surprised because a lot of people think of him as let's just let it go. As a very analytic person, as someone who's, you know, a, a lot about numbers. And he is. He's actually very quantitative, but he once told me that the best way to gauge whether a certain type of education or math especially is working in a classroom. Sure, you could try to look at test scores and things like that, but the easiest and quickest way is to go to the 10 students in a classroom who are having the most trouble with the mathematics and ask them how they feel about the mathematics. And if they hate the mathematics, well, that's kind of the typical response. But if they still are engaged and they still haven't given up and if they're, they're still into it, well, then something great's going on. And I was surprised. Well, then something great's going on. One correction. And I was surprised hearing that from him because a lot, of, you know, as I mentioned, people associate him as very quantitative and analytical. But in a lot of ways, he's right. So when we create Khan Academy, we absolutely care about the numbers. How many people are using us? How does that affect their learning? How does that affect outcomes on benchmark exam? We care about all of those things. But at the end of the day, the best measure is. How does the student feel about mathematics after going through Khan Academy? So I would stand by that as a good transcript. And there is my demo.